This is Gray, a Wasatch wordsmith, coming at you with another poem for a contributor, uh, Jordan Ramp, who contributed to the 2013 National Poetry Slam Battle Fund for the Wasatch Wordsmiths. So, Jordan, thank you very much for contributing to our cause, and for you, sir, I have a poem. I hope you like it. It is about a bunch of different things. <clears throat> I want to put you into small canning jars and take you with me everywhere I go so that if I ever wind up somewhere where everyone sucks, I can take the canning jar out, unscrew the lid, and have you there with me. Unfortunately, to make this a reality, to make you fit into a small canning jar, particularly given your considerable stature, this might require some gruesome modifications. The average canning jar holds around a quart or so in volume, roughly six or so inches in height. You are around six feet tall, and I imagine your volume is substantially more than a quart. According to my rough calculations, and I am an English major, that means we'll need a fuck ton of canning jars. The process of slicing you into small canning jar sizes is less than pleasant to think about, though admittedly it is slightly more humorous than the movie This Is The End, starring Seth Rogen and a slew of other untalented actors, including James Franco, which I thought was a terrible Allen Ginsberg, but I did love that movie, and a slew of other untalented actors, which wasn't really funny at all, which means that the thought of pressing parts of your body into hundreds of canning jars is also probably not very humorous either, and you might not come out so great in the end. Thus, since this is not pleasant to think about, I will no longer think about it. Instead, I will occupy my thoughts with images of ridiculous things such as koalas, or British people, or my attempts to shave with a live shark. I wonder if it would be easier to fit koalas into canning jars. I know if I go to a party and everyone is shitty and the party is shitty and I'm sitting there thinking about how cool it would be if you were there to make me feel like less of an asshole by acknowledging how much of an asshole I actually am, I am sure if I started to slowly take out 40 or so canning jars full of koalas one by one from a duffel bag, everyone would understand and they would all think I am witty and charming and not creepy at all and nothing would be weird about that. All right, so there you go, Jordan. Uh, thank you again for your contribution to the Wasatch Wordsmiths. Uh, we appreciate that, and uh, we'll be doing more stuff like this coming up. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll be annoying everybody for money at some point or another. Um, and a few words on Boston. Boston was great. Love Boston. Boston was a hell of a time, except for Johnny D's. Johnny D's was the worst venue ever. If you're in Boston and you're thinking, hmm, what should I do tonight? Don't go to Johnny D's. Uh, I would prefer that place to burn down. But anyway, that's my rant about Johnny D's. So thank you, everybody. I hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you soon. Next location is Bryan, Texas, which is going to be very meta for me. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.